morning everybody uh don't adjust your screen this is not bill it's chuck uh we're just trying to give bill a break and uh do some encouraging words and uh with the several of the leaders and uh, deacons maybe later i don't know but just wanted to come to you today i thought about something i thought about a scripture that is uh was encouraging to me and it comes in matthew and it talks about when jesus got on the boat to go across the sea of galilee and he was with his disciples and a storm came up and let me just read it it said then jesus got into the boat and started across the lake with his disciples suddenly a fierce storm struck the lake with waves breaking into the boat but jesus was sleeping the disciples went and woke him up shouting lord save us we're going to drown Jesus responded, why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up and rebuked the wind and waves, and suddenly there was a great calm. Now, I'm a little afraid of water and boats anyway, so getting out in a boat in the middle of the sea kind of scares me anyway. Even a, a cruise ship, I've never really wanted to go on. Even a big ship in the calm waters kind of makes me a little eerie. But to think about being out in the middle of the Sea of Galilee and basically a hurricane comes up and the disciples are on the boat and the waves are coming in the boat and the disciples have become very fearful as I would have been, I'm sure. But they're up panicking on the boat. They're just beside themselves. Anxiety is feeding anxiety and they are just beside themselves thinking they're about to die. And all this time, Jesus is in the bottom of the boat asleep. Now, Jesus, we know, was God, but he was also man. He was 100% man, 100% God. He was the God man. And he could have been afraid. He was tempted and tested in all ways as we are. And he could have been afraid, but he wasn't afraid. He was asleep in the bottom of the boat. And the disciples were up on the top deck, scared to death. But they did have enough sense to go down and wake Jesus. And they went down to, and woke Jesus up and said, Lord, what are we going to do? We're about to die. And Jesus gets up calmly, comes to the top of the boat, and says, peace be still. And everything, the, the storms quit. And that, what I get out of this story is uh, so many times when we're in storms, we panic. We, and I know for myself, I've gotten into situations where I got a little anxious about something and then that anxiety just started more anxieties and it started just building and snowballing. And I'm thinking I'm in a hole now so deep I can't get out. But you're never in a hole deeper than Jesus can reach. And the whole time that the disciples were panicking and freaking out on the boat, Jesus was right there in the boat with them. He was in the storm with them the whole time. He didn't jump ship. He wasn't, didn't leave and leave the disciples to fight on their own. He was there in the boat, in the storm the whole time. Sometimes we feel like that uh, God is a 10,000 miles away from our situation, but he's, he's always no more, no more than a prayer away. Two scriptures that have always been very important to me and one of them is in Philippians 4, 6 through 9. It says, To be anxious for nothing, but in all things, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God, and the peace of God that passes all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. The peace of God that passes all understanding. You see, our understanding, believe me, I've tried to figure out things in my mind many times in my own, with my own little pea brain and my own little limited understanding try to figure out god but we can't do that his ways are way higher than ours his thoughts are way higher than ours and if we try to figure things out in our own understanding we will be totally fearful and anxious we got to trust him and the peace of god that passes all understanding will guard our hearts and mind and one more scripture it says in proverbs 3 5 and 6 to trust the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Another scripture that says lean not unto your own understanding. We, if we try to figure things out on our own, we get in a panic and we get in a problem, we get in this deal that we're in right now with everything going on. 
if we try to lean on our own understandings and think, what are we going to do? How are we going to get out of this? What are we going to do? Then we're going to be panicked. But you got to realize, just remember this, that Jesus hadn't left. He's still in the boat. He's still right in the middle of the storm with you. He's not leaving. And all, it's just a, it's just a, a quick peace be still from Jesus and the whole thing will be calmed if you'll just trust him. And sometimes it's hard to do. Maybe it takes a little work, maybe a little practice with putting your faith and trust in him. But if you'll practice doing that and just giving it to Jesus, I guarantee you he'll help you and bring peace into your life. He's still in the boat. He's still in the storm with you. Love y'all. Have a good day.